In an age of big bookstore chains and online retailers, some local merchants are struggling to stay afloat. Owners of one iconic bookshop in Brockport say if they don't see a boost, they might not make it through the end of the year. Sabrina Maggiore spoke with them and joins us now from the newsroom. Sabrina, this is tough to take here. Yeah, that's right, Maureen. Lift uh, Lippridge Bookshop has been a staple on Main Street in Brockport for nearly 50 years, but this Saturday they wrote a letter to the community asking locals for a bit of help. It's a convenient click that comes with a cost. John Bomzik is the owner of Liftbridge Bookshop in Brockport, and he says the competition from online shopping has hurt his book business. The ease of ordering things online. Um, again, you know, Amazon, you're there. You say, oh, okay, well, I'll just click on this and I'll get it. It seems very simple, but you don't think about the local impact of that. Bonzik says in the last few years, business has steadily decreased. The store has seen a 70% decline in business over the last six years. And that in combination with increased costs are what really has hurt us. The iconic bookstore had to cut back on their cost, reducing their full-time staff to half. Our time is at a premium now, ever, more than it ever was just because of how few staff we have. That's why they're asking community members to shop local. It's not just us. You know, there might be other businesses in your town that are hurting. Stop in your coffee shop. Stop in your local florist. Stop in your, your crafting shop. There are places in town that you can get the things that you need, your gifts. Um, you don't need to go to big box stores or click online. Okay. Now, while the bookstore has been around for nearly half a century, John has only been an owner since 2014. He says that the goal is to keep the store's doors open for as long as they can. All right, Sabrina, thank you. Bookstores have struggled nationally as well. More than 1,000 bookstores, James, have closed mm. between 2000 and 2007, and that, that's just those, those first seven years of the right. decade. So uh, hundreds of more have closed.